I want to show you the easiest way for backing up your Mac and it works on any Mac. It works on any Mac laptop and any Mac desktop and the iMac too. And the only thing you need for it is an external hard drive. So you'll take an external hard drive and connect it to your computer. And then Macs come with a software called Time Machine that automatically moves everything, all your applications, all your photos, pretty much every single file on your Mac will be duplicated on this external drive. So if anything happens to your Mac, well, you have a backup right here. I'll put a link to one that I use. I have a two terabyte one. So you wanna make sure you get one that is about the same size as your internal drive on your Mac or bigger. So I'll show you how to find that first. So on your Mac, click on the Apple icon here and go to system settings right on top. And on this page, go to the general section and look for storage. You could also search for storage right up here. And right on top is gonna tell you the size of your hard drive, the one that you have on your computer. On my laptop, I have a two terabyte. So what I did is I bought a two terabyte drive. Now, it makes sense to buy even a bigger drive than what you have on your computer. So if you had a one terabyte on your computer and you have a two terabyte here, well, it won't delete all files if it runs out of space, right? But in this case, I only have 1.3 terabyte of information that's gonna get backed up here. So there'll be some space left over too. Okay, now I'm gonna plug in that hard drive and it appeared right over here. So this is an empty hard drive. And then what you wanna do is you wanna look for another app that comes with your Mac. It's called Disk Utility. And right here with Disk Utility, you'll see the external drive pop up over here. Now be very careful, make sure you don't have any other drives plugged in, eject any if you have other ones and don't touch the ones that say internal, only the external one. And then you wanna erase that one if you just bought it so you could name it. I named my MacBook Pro Backup and you wanna choose Mac OS Extended Journal. Okay, this is gonna erase this hard drive, but again, I'm doing this with a brand new drive that I just got. So it makes sense to erase it and get it ready for a backup. So you could do this option here. Okay, then let's go back to our settings menu here. Search for this app called Time Machine. So right over here. Every single Mac comes with this app called Time Machine. It's nothing that you need to install. Both this utility and Time Machine are just part of Macs. And right here, it says Time Machine backs up your computer and keeps local snapshots and hourly backups for the past 24 hours, daily backups of the past month and weekly backups of all previous month, as long as it's plugged into your Mac. Now I plug it in once a week and I let it run there. I don't have it plugged in at all times, so it doesn't really do hourly backups, but if you do have it plugged in, it will do that. So I'm gonna add a backup disk. This is the disk it's gonna recognize as long as you have an external drive, like the one I showed you plugged in, it's gonna recognize it, set it up. Now it's gonna tell you right here that this is not recommended in my case because it's telling me to have a disk that is twice the size of the internal one. So it says have a four terabyte hard drive. That's what they're recommending. But in this case, I'm gonna just go with it. I have only one terabyte of information or so. So this is gonna be fine, but usually it's recommending you have double the size of an external drive for what's in the internal. So two terabytes was the internal, is telling me I should have a four. And then it's asking you, do you wanna encrypt it with a password? You could do that too. In this case, I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna press done. And this is gonna prepare my disk for a backup here. Okay, so it took about a couple minutes to prepare the disk here, and you could see the icon changed from that orange icon to this green icon. And now this means this hard drive is my time machine backup hard drive. I'm not gonna use it for anything else. So I recommend you buy a dedicated hard drive that's going to be your time machine. Use a different one for anything else. And you have some options here still in the settings, so I'm gonna click on this and I could decide how often I wanna back this up. So do I wanna do it every hour or every day? In this case, I'll just put it on every day here. And that's all I have to change here. I'll go ahead and press okay. And now if I look on top right over here, I should have a different icon. It looks like this, okay? Now, it's going to automatically go to work and create your first backup for you. But if you wanna just start it now, all you have to do is press backup now. So press this right here and the backup is going to go to work. And this may take quite a long time if it's your very first backup. You could still use your computer the same way as you normally would, this happens in the background. But in this case, over a terabyte of information has to get copied over. It doesn't move anything, your computer and your hard drive stays exactly the same. It's not deleting anything, it's literally just copying everything to this external hard drive. 
So I'm going to let this one finish up here and then I'll show you how to actually use the backup here to retrieve things from the past. Okay, so it took a few hours here to back up my computer here. So if I go up here and click this, you'll see the latest backup and it will tell you when it was complete. Now, again, I could back up now. In this case, I just backed up, so everything is backed up. But if you wanna retrieve something that you delete, it will be on this backup at any time. So what you could do is you go to this option right here, browse time machine backups, and it changes the view completely. And you'll see you could go back in time. So even in this case, I could go back to any of the backups I had on today. And you'll see on the right side, you'll have all the different dates. So this becomes more useful as long as you plug it in every week or if you just have it plugged in all the time and it's constantly backing up, you pretty much get to come back and restore any files that ever gets deleted from your computer. And if anything happens to your hard drive, well, this is the exact same mirror that you could bring into a new hard drive or a brand new computer too. This time machine will replicate everything on a brand new computer. And the way you restore any individual file is if you go back to a previous backup here, you'll just find that file and you just have to press restore and it will bring it to your existing hard drive from the backup. And if you're a Mac user, I wanna show you one other resource that I've been using for well over five years. So there is an app I have on my computer called Clean My Mac X. So I use this to make sure my hard drive is always optimized and I make sure I keep things clean. So it has a smart scan, so it will scan your entire computer. It also has things for malware protection. It also has performance enhancements that you could run. It could also keep your applications up to date, all kinds of different things all in one platform. And this is one of the best apps I've ever used for my Mac to keep things up to speed and just get the best performance out of my Mac and also keep my hard drive nice and organized. So I'll put a link in the description. You could try that out too if you like. Thanks so much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video.